on the the flights in front i also think it's uh with airplanes there's more you can deduce about their performance from just looking at them and stuff like that and for a simulator you're doing one thing that one guy's supposed to do by himself already but with a submarine like they're so secretive there's like not much you know about it and uh there's dozens of people on the submarine so trying to condense all that just it's just some differences there <clears throat> that I think make flight sims a better fit. Doesn't mean sub sims are a bad one. It's just uh, the flight sim. It's you know you're doing one to one what's really supposed to be done in real life. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, check this out here. I mean, yeah, I'm just... I like to play devil's advocate. But I, I yes, that would be nice. I agree. <laughs> Ooh, we're out in the middle of the mid. Do the Mediterranean's deep. That crap gets deep. Apparently it wasn't full of water one day. Until the Strait of Gibraltar opened up, that would have been cool to watch. I don't know if it's like, I'm sure it took hundreds of years or something, but still. All right, what are we doing? From Com 6th Fleet to USS Annapolis. Area assignment operate in the international waters off the Gulf of Citra, in the Gulf of Citra. Provide ASW screen for Nimitz Battle Group. CTF 69 will have operational control. Peacetime ROE apply unless a submarine approaches USS Nimitz within 15 miles. This will be considered a hostile act. Other naval forces exhibiting hostile intent may also be engaged. Vague statement is vague. Other battle group is conducting freedom of navigation operations, although Libya has declared the quote line of death unquote and claims the waters of the Gulf of Citra to be territorial waters. Uh... That sounded like a sub ping. I guess they use a different noise for that one. Because that's definitely a sub ping in dangerous waters. The U.S. maintains that these are international waters. That is that only in a reinforce alert that that's the submarine ping? I don't remember what it sounds like in the stock game. <clears throat> Hello, rent a cow. Who is that picture? Is that Kamala Harris? <laughs> All right. Um, let's call him as we see him. What do we got going on out here? Let's stream some Toad. Uh, layer 190. Our current depth is 058. 058. Now let's raise the scope and take a peek. Should be friendly. Is that supposed to be low level light? ESM toast, toast. Toast, toast. I don't even see anything. But we're getting toast. Toast DSM here. Uh, let's go. Oh, dude, I said hello. Starboard toad array. Aye, sir. Okay, well, these are all Con, sonar. real contacts. I have a new contact. Here. Zero, nine, four. Designated Sierra Shrimp. one. Con, sonar. I have a new contact bearing two five four. Designated Sierra two. Two five four. <laughs> oh, merchant. Likely. Powerboat, not like. Ah, eh, more likely than others, but not likely. I think we're. I think we got ourselves a merchant over here, man. We got ourselves a merchant. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely the sub-ping sound from RA. I don't know... I don't remember what the sub-ping sounds like in stock DW. But that's like the, the pants shitting one, where it's like, oh shit, <laughs> someone's about to shoot. Because subs only ping the verify range, usually, before shooting. At least in dangerous waters. <clears throat> Re-verify our... Uh, what? Delta? No, it's not Delta. 
re-verify our range to target. One ping only, please. Cargo ship. This more is a little chilly. How many years is it? That should be fine. I don't think it really makes a difference in this as much. It looks like it's clear that the instant you put it out. Dude, that ping though. Oh, well, I guess we can see what's actually like raise the ESM giving us crap. Aye, sir. And we're raise up the here antenna. Aye, sir. Raise all the stuff. See if there's anything waiting on the radio. Check out what these ESM sources are. Uh, radio, new message traffic received. Always takes one sweep before it shows up. I don't even know if it's gonna tell me until I mark it. This is a early Burke. God, that's loud. It's a lively environment. What is that one? Trawler. Some distant one off to the east there. OSA. That's a Libyan surface craft. Cargo ship. Another Burke. Might be something else in that clutter that I can't really make out here. Yeah, I think I've just seen two over there. Lower the ESM mast. Aye, sir. It only marked the one. Okay, we got message to intelligence support. Nimbits and two early bird class destroyers are in company and proceeding at 15 knots on course 082. CV is currently at blah. Two, a recently acquired kilo class has been unlocated for three days. It was last located in Port Benghazi. <laughs> three, one Libyan OSA is currently operating in the vicinity of the battle group as a tattletale. It is unlikely that OSA would initiate hostile action by itself. That's true. Light fishing activity reported in that vicinity. Expect the presence of neutral coastal merchant shipping. We're not near the coast, though. We're okay, in the middle of the frickin' like 300 miles off of land. We're not even in the Gulf of Sigil. We're all the way out here. Not very familiar with that, uh... line of death or whatever thing. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? We're taking a look at the sonar here. Lots of distant tracks. I don't know that there are uh, submarine... Okay, well, it told us very specifically what we're looking for, so let's bring up Kilo here on the filter. Kilo. so disconcerting. <laughs> Such a creepy ping. Okay. No kilos as of yet. Okay, we need to put down where that group is. 35081714. Oh wow, they're far. Uh, Duke doing 15 knots. I don't know that I, I don't think I can put any kind of text labels here. 15 knots. Okay. Well, we can at least draw some little range bubbles. Wait, what course? East, due east. 082, huh? 082. I'm gonna need like a pen and paper to keep track of what's going on here. Uh, I was trying to like get rid of the little rain circle to put the mark, <laughs> and it re repositioned itself. 82. Okay. 
Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's get a piece of paper here. Yes, the same devs worked on 68i, Sub Command, and Dangerous Waters. The Janes thing or the EA thing, that's the publisher. I think this the studio may have changed hands. Or changed names. Or was it always Sonalist? I don't know. I know this publisher for Dangerous Waters was like strategy first. It's like who? I feel like they've done something else that's that was decently big though. I'm not even sure if they're a publisher anymore. What are they known for? Founded in Montreal, Canada, 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 1988. I don't know what they're known for. Everything on there now is like all this like ten dollar and under stuff. Oh, there's Dangerous Waters. You can get. I don't know if it's on sale for on Steam right now, but if you go to strategyfirst.com, you can get Dangerous Waters for six bucks. Oh, flat out. They did flat out. I would do this on the computer, but I don't want to, like, uh, crash it. Tank Warfare Tunisia, 1943. 40 bucks. That's the most expensive game I've seen so far. Naval Combat Pack. What's that? Oh, you get 688i, Fleet Command, and Sub Command for 20 bucks. Okay, I guess they acquired the rights to those games then. What nations have Kilo Class? I think the better question may be, what nations don't have Kilo Class? <laughs> it's very proliferate. Like Pakistan, China, Iran... Libya, Russia, of course. A lot of people have kilos. That is the AK-47 of submarines. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess we should probably head up this way, huh? try and get more or less like centered on that line because 15 miles within it was 15 miles within the Nimitz right that's a pretty big bubble um, but yeah I mean we, we need to be like more or less centered on that line okay I'm hearing Burke pings that are coming in at just about identical times 285 Yeah, okay, so in two hours they'll be there, one hour they'll be here. I wanted to write this down so I know what these meant. Oh, I need a piece of paper. Got a little, got a notebook that has like notes from past experiments I've done for Dangerous Waters. <laughs> it's always fun to look at that kind of stuff again. Do I not have a writing implement? Shit. Yeah, I played a little Fleet Command a few weeks back. I wanted to get into that some more. All right, Nimitz. Nimitz at. Uh, let's see here. Let's do it this way. Twelve hundred. We'll say Zulu. I don't think these games actually do Zulu though. They do local time. Thirty-five oh eight. North. Seventeen fourteen east. Heading zero eight two at fifteen knot thirteen hundred Zulu I just zoom in man so I have to get all precise thirty five ten north seventeen thirty two east pan 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 I'd like to declare an emergency. And then 
fourteen hundred Zulu. Thirty five eleven north. Seventeen fifty east. Okie dokie. This is more or less I don't really need this now, so if I don't finish this mission. Because you can't go back and look at all the timestamps to see when the mission started and when the heck crap happened. Yep, good old pen and paper. Yeah, Russia sold those things to everyone. Oh, really? Private citizens? Damn, it sounds expensive. Wouldn't even be really that cool to have as a private civilian. It's not like you can look out of it. I want some kind of submersible that you could, like, go around coral reefs in and take a look. Alright, so they're going to be there in two hours. I'm going five knots. Pretty close in two hours. We should do uh, ten knots, though. Yeah, so let's get beneath this layer here. Where is it at? 190. Let's do uh, 248. Uh, what, what, what was it, 190? Yeah, do 240. We'll hug that layer. Make my depth 240 feet. Aye, sir. Per the conclusion. Recommend lowering all mast and antennas. Oh, jeez. Lower the antenna. Aye, sir. Okay, good. <laughs> we did not lose the antenna. Before also rudely interrupted, I'm gonna hug the layer so as to use the conclusions from my shadow zone experiment tutorial thing. <clears throat> That's shrimp. I was like, who's that there, love? That's shrimp. Okay. There's a lot of a lot of crap out here. <sighs> I'm kinda hanging up on an ambiguity. I feel like the briefing should have told me where I'm supposed to like rendezvous with this group. Cause I I don't know, there could be a sub over here. We'll just ignore that. Thirty-five 1750. Yeah, my air, my area, my AO, expect fishing. It's the med. I feel like there's fishing everywhere around here. We saw that OSA on the ESM, but no sonar contact. Last reported in Benghazi. Don't even have any land labels. Three days ago, it can be anywhere around here in three days. General so and so. How long until Ramius is in a position to where he can fire his missiles? Four days. All right, I'll brief the president. That'll be all, gentlemen. Dr. Ryan, would you stay for a moment? So tell him to speak your mind, Jack, but Jesus. Okay, yeah, we'll just ignore that. We're just going to head due north. Ignore potential ambiguity about where this submarine might show up. Okay, now I guess this is what it looks like when you're under the layer. It's like a little splotchy splotch. It's a deep blue sea out there. Yeah, can you imagine the upkeep? That's the thing like when you get, when people like win the lottery and they go bankrupt, they don't realize that things cost money to upkeep. <laughs> Can't just throw a blue tarp on a, a roof and call it done. <laughs> okay. 
I'm still seeing a lot of this stuff as if it's close. I mean, it could be within the shadow zone. And this is also a completely different game, so none of that may even apply. I'm still getting that ping. I would not be in dangerous waters. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's do a sweep here before we head up to 10 knots. <laughs> See, that gets close. I really wish that you could like overlap these to try and better line it up. What is what, what am I seeing here though? What is that? Cargo ship. Okay, I think we had established that. I'll have to read the 688i manual about uh, what they say for layers and stuff. Let's just give it a, let's see what happens if we do like 100 feet plus on the layer here. I just want to see if we actually notice Make a my difference depth two, nine, zero. Because we should be underneath Aye, of it at this point. To not hear pings anymore. Okay, up here you get the constant temperature. Sound speed profile is only increasing due to the increase in pressure. Speed of sound increases with increasing temperature and increasing depth. You would think it would it would increase with decreasing temperature because it does get slightly more dense as temperature decreases. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I can't imagine doing that ISS thing. It's crazy. It's like here. I'm just gonna pay to be an astronaut. So much money. Alright, while well, we're down here, let's get cooking. Uh, anything different? Okay, now they dropped off. Looks like they dropped off a little bit ago. Still getting them on the toad, though. Oh, the toad is still up there. Maybe we weren't deep enough, but uh, we're good now. This looks ra this rather recent. Maybe I wasn't beneath it earlier then. All right, well, let's uh, get cracking here. We're down here. Uh, let's actually wait for this toad to really get down here. I want to do a sweep underneath this layer here first. I'll just speed up time a little bit. I think it's taking a while to get down there, dude. I'll tell you what. It may not actually go away for some of this stuff. What is that? Is that a kilo? See, but you could at least drag it down here to try and get a better sense. This might be a kilo. Hot diggity damn. I think we already found our kilo. Con, sonar. I have a new contact bearing zero four zero designated Sierra three. Con, sonar. I have a new contact bearing three one seven designated Sierra four. Question is, which ones are going to be? Let's uh, just go east. Come right to course zero eight nine. I sir. Oh, how much crew do you have to hire for a kilo? I feel like nearly the full complement. I don't know what, what constitutes a skeleton crew for a sub. I feel like anything that's related to wartime stuff you wouldn't need. Like firing weapons or TMA. <laughs> It'll all depend like how much 
how long you go out to sea too. You need like enough crew for three three uh, ships, three watches. You have to pay all them, feed all them. Good God, that would add up. Oh. Whatever we had is gone. Steady on course. Zero, eight, nine. Okay, it looks like it's going to be this guy over here. If I had to wager a guess, there's a little blip that lines up right there. The one over here is uh that guy, not the not the kilo. Okay, well why did we get a blip and then why did he go away? Was he above the layer? And the toad finally came down? Or was he making a lot of noise for a little bit there and we picked him up? Are we getting him on the narrows? Nothing. Hmm. Retrieve Let's bring some of this back array. in. Aye, sir. I don't have any timestamps to see when I ordered the. Uh... Uh, it must be rolling in so quickly that it's at washout. I just don't want to have that much length out. It doesn't seem like length really matters in this game. Didn't do that when I first let it out, but now it's like... Wait, something just blew up. I have complete sensor washout, what's happening? Did I miss some kind of like, we have a casualty here or something? What the heck was that? That was like explosion reverberation. What the heck just happened? Didn't get any report. Something doesn't just like wash out the sea for a minute and then go away. <laughs> what the heck? Something blew up. What was it? Why do I have no data for CR4? Don't know. Huh. Well, before that weirdness happened, um, I was debating whether or not I should try and go back about the lair to listen for this guy. I really wish I had like depth total rate. That'd be so useful. Hmm. That was weird. Just have wash out all of a sudden. I haven't really made like any progress towards like going where I'm going. They're already here, man. Uh Army wants to go up and see if there's anything on the radio. What the heck? I guess I could just slow down and stream the wire here. Instead of doing all that, let's just do that. Maneuvering, con. Make sure for the antenna. Two dots, sir. Should we go back above the layer to look for that kilo? We already got a whiff of him. I got a pretty decent inclination to think that he's actually this one. Based on that and that. Look at that, there's like a little, uh, is that just a result of randomness, or is that an actual signal that I'm seeing in that wash out there? I was gonna say, this thing is doing something different, but I changed course. I 
I don't think the wire shows up on the 3D view. It's got to be up there right now, huh? <laughs> well, just because you have like a mercantile, not mercantile, like a mercenary crew, the sub's going to implode beneath 200 feet all of a sudden. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any kind of radio message to be, yet, to be had Hi, here. Sir. I gotta get a, a sense of where this kilo is before I start doing anything. We gotta wait for this to reel back in, and then I'll just go above the layer here. Maneuvering, con, make turns for five knots. Let's just reel this thing back in, so when I go above the layer, it's already. We we'll have to wait for this thing to come back up to depth. Not like I'm tracking anything really at this point, anyway. We know where to look for this kilo. If he is there, the new mirror track will be down here. And if he's there, the mirror track will be down there. What? I just want to know what that was. I have not seen that yet in this game, like a reverb. I don't even think, well, I, I don't think I really looked when I blew up that Roro. Okay, uh, above the layer, please. Zero nine zero. Make my depth nine zero feet. Aye, sir. Oh, Submariner 10, thank you for following. 27 minutes late on that one. Need like some kind of little noise for that. That's true. It'll be, it'll be a hunk of crap, likely. Okay, well, things are coming back now. I should have paid attention to what depth that occurred at. <laughs> Look at that climb angle for five knots. Uh... Streaming this bad boy out here. Try and look for pesky kilos. I mean, part of me is like, oh, we gotta get cracking, but then the other part of me is like, we found a kilo. That was said to be missing. That does not mean there's only one kilo to be found, but we found a kilo. Let's do 720. Let's do two boat lengths. I think I was doing 500 before. Let's just do something kind of neat. Look at that. That kind of looks like... That looks like something there. What is that? That's a high bearing rate, dude. For something that's supposedly not that strong of a signal. What is that?
That is a big waveform. Um, that's good. I think I don't think there's anything there, but it, it really looks like there is. I mean, just extrapolating based on if that's something. What is this? It's really weird to be such a high bearing rate for something that's supposedly like under some kind of layer or something. Oh, uh, where was it? Okay, that was that. Wait, what? That's shrimp. Okay, oh, I'm getting. Okay, that's because biologics in this game have a signal. Okay, so it's too faint for narrowband. I think it's like really high pace of like tung tuk tung tuk tung tuk tung. Uh there is oh. Yeah, we only have a narrow band conformal here. I'm pretty sure that's shrimp. That is also shrimp. Looks like something else. Ah, well, the first frequency is all the way up here. It's gotta be a biologic dude. It's just not showing the second frequency for some reason. Weird. Okay, our boy was over this way here. Zero four zero something. Uh, Victor three, you call it. Oh, I noticed in the world is not enough. The James Bond movie. I saw that a few weeks back. And uh, James Bond was asking Zukovsky what the submarine was that his cousin drives. He's like, uh. I think at first he was like, Shuka, uh, Victor 3 would call it. I was like, ah, why the hell did I get that little detail right? <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a whiff of a kilo. That's a whiff. That's a pixel width. Pixel whiff, not a pixel width. That was a Freudian slip. That's a whiff of a kilo right there. That's a stronger key, though. Well, it's the first two frequencies. Oh, no, well, there's something over there, too. More due north ish, huh? Is this kilo, like, super close aboard? Because it's. If this is a trend, and that's the kilo down here, it's tilting over. We're not even at closest approach yet. Yeah, I think that's him all right. Wait, no, we're still tracking a CR3. Off that way. Or is that data just old? It hasn't updated yet. I don't think it's updated yet. Because it's telling me right there that's CR3. see here. F15C, yes. What is the TPK of an F15? Oh yeah, look at that. It almost looks like a raptor. It's so poorly pixelated. <laughs> um, Kilo. TPK 10. He's cooking and bucking. It's in the vicinity of 11 knots. Come on, give me some data. Just want some data here. Give me some data here. Give me some data. Oh, 
When did I mark this cargo ship thing? I don't know. Get rid of it. Oh, we were going parallel for a little bit there. Now I just want to do it mathematically. Yeah, whatever. Drop. Uh, should be able to get them on the conformal too, huh? No? Not seeing anything on the conformal. Interesting. Well, we should have them on the spherical, huh? Nope, we're only getting them on the toad. We're not getting any spherical or conformal data on this guy. He seems to... Uh, are we getting... Have we gotten new data on this guy? Yeah, come on now. He's in a different place. There you go. Uh, it fits. It fits. That's what she said. Oh! Bad clap. Uh, and her solution. That's yeah, a keto, all right. Well, I guess it's a good thing we saw that. We would have ran right into him. Um, Interesting. Uh, well, right now he's within, according to my solution, he's within 15 miles of that track. Uh, the group is like over here-ish. I can't add a rain circle to this dude, can I? That would really be helpful. I mean, at this rate, he's going to be within 15 miles of that group very soon. Our orders are to shoot at 15 miles. Yeah. Okay, well, we're just gonna like get in behind this guy and just like track him. That sounds big. What is that? Trafalga. No, get me out of submarines here. Nope, no FS-1500. I remember that from the first mission. Merchant! Kilo. Yeah, the, the five frequencies. Five frequencies. Uh, we're going to say... Hostile. Just to make it easier to notice. And uh, let's come this way. Come left to course zero two six. Aye, sir. Start the act of getting in behind this guy here. Well, I don't want to. We're not going to try and. We found something. We're going to stick with this. I don't want to lose contact on this guy by doing something silly like trying to get further north here. Hmm. That's crazy. And we're also, like, he's going west, and I'm going east. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> so our speeds are adding together, which also contributes to this high bearing rate we're seeing here. This is a busy picture. This mirror track is over here, I think. It almost sounds like he's running on the diesel. Because it's loud. Like a Steady on course. Zero, two, electric six. submarine wouldn't sound like that. Okay, it looks like unless he turned. Well, I'm turning now, so I can't really comment on closest approaches anymore. What is that? That sounds terrible. Cargo ship. Not surprised. Okay.
five, count them, five frequencies. Craziness. We might even be able to see him on the 3D here. No? I thought he might be close enough for that. <laughs> I mean, we are close. We're close. Oh, I need to have a, uh, a weapon queued up here, just in case. Zero 03. A sign. Not a harpoon, sorry, wrong one. Never did re reload that tube. I'll do it now. See, that's cool. I like that in this game. The carryovers between missions. That's cool. Okay, the circle does mean I have... See, that's a cool feature, too. Knowing which track you got a solution on. Or that you're targeting. I like that. There's some nifty features in here that got taken out. I don't know why. Okay. Let's see here. Lepa doop doo. Just trying to judge where he's going to be with respect to my baffles. We'll just hold this for a little bit here. We're going to try and get in behind him and stay there. Fire control shot to hell. We'll then get in behind him and stay there. <laughs> 